Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm Jim Webb with your tropical update. We continue to watch a very dangerous Hurricane Ada. Winds right now are at uh, 140 miles an hour, so it continues to weaken a little bit. Uh, and through the overnight hours, uh, remember yesterday for a time, you could see very clearly that eye. It was about 14 miles in diameter, almost looked like a pinpoint on the satellite imagery. But through the overnight hours, it went through what we call an eye wall replacement cycle. Very often we see this with very powerful hurricanes. They can't maintain that kind of an intensity for an extended period of time. So they start to go through these cycles where that inner eye wall falls apart and then it reforms a new eye wall. And when it goes through a phase like that, it tends to weaken. And so that's what we saw through the overnight hours and through the morning. Now it is very close to making landfall. It's gonna be working its way on shore a little bit weaker, but still, this is a very dangerous hurricane with winds of 140 miles an hour. You can see on the visible satellite loop how close that center is to making landfall. So that happens later on this afternoon. Then uh, on top of all the winds, look at how slow this is moving to the west at three miles an hour. So you have those prolonged period of those very strong winds moving on shore. You have the storm surge, and then you have the rainfall on top of this. We're talking 15 to 25 inches of rain over a widespread area moving into some very mountainous terrain. And then we're gonna see some pockets of up to 35 inches of rain. So you've got the flooding with that. You've got the landslides, the mudslides with this, just a huge, huge problem. This is gonna cause just a lot of devastation across parts of Nicaragua, Honduras. And then as you look at this forecast track, uh, you know, there's some question marks in here on how much of this will come true because how much of this survives over some very mountainous terrain. And if some of it can survive, the remnants of it moving its way back out over the Western Caribbean, there's warm water, there's light wind shear. So there's the potential this may try and reform as we get into the weekend across the Western Caribbean. And a number of the computer models have been showing this over the past several days, and they continue to hint at that possibility. Some of the models kind of doing some loops across the, uh, the uh, Caribbean, working its way up towards the Gulf of Mexico. So there's still a lot of question marks, and a lot of people are concerned, is this another storm heading into the Gulf of Mexico? It's still way, way too early to say something like that, but you're just seeing more and more of that idea that this could move back out over into the Western Caribbean. And then if there's enough of this left, it may try and reform. That's kind of the message we wanna be focusing on right now for the long term. But in the short term, it's all about the devastation across Nicaragua and Honduras with the wind and all the rain that will happen over the next 72 hours. We'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.